All right. So last week we had the big, huge wooden mallet. So I was feeling very destructive last oh, week. Oh, that's a good segment. This week we're doing some injecting. Another another common tool in the kitchen. So yeah. uh, I hi, don't Jay. have it in my kitchen. Hi, this right. is the first time cooking with Jay. Yeah. So this is awesome. Look this at this. Is fantastic. This is not Steve. This is no. Jay. <laughs> I've never had Cajun <laughs> chicken early guys. in the morning, but it smells delicious. So listen, today the overall topic is chicken. And I get asked about chicken all the time. Mm -hmm. And how, A, not to burn it, and B, how to get I, flavor out of your chicken. Yeah, so, not to dry it out. And that's my <laughs> So one of the ways of getting flavor on the inside mm -hmm. of the meat is using a syringe here. I'm so so excited about do you have any yes. injecting experience? Yeah. Here we go, I right? I don't have any injecting experience. No. So the recipe today is a Cajun grilled chicken. And so in this bowl, I've had some butter. There's some garlic powder, white, some white um, pepper, some cayenne pepper, and mm, some onion and good. so on. And you make it kind of runny like this, but you got to make sure it's really fine. So if you have really chunky spices, mm -hmm. it'll jam up your injector, you see? Oh, okay. That's so you got to make it nice and runny. So okay. fill up the syringe there, okay. Sophie. And then I'm going to I'm going to show you one. And then I want you to do the chicken breast here. Okay. So I've got the thigh, and the technique that you want to do here is inject the needle in, but as you're pressing in, you mm -hmm. want to pull the needle back, okay? So then the injection is kind of passed throughout the piece of the bird, okay. right? So you want to do that all there. And so on the chicken, you're going to poke all over the place, okay. and do that a bunch of different times. Just go right ahead and do the that skin one. There? Yep, go through the skin. Is that really spicy? Uh, there is a bit of spice a because of the it? cayenne and yeah. the pepper. So in they go. Okay, yep. this, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, there we go. And pull out as uh, I'm. Yeah, you want. Oops, there you sorry. go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't get Jay though, because he probably won't be happy don't about be that. Don't be afraid, Sophie. Yeah. Okay. Just jam it right in there. Have you done this before, Jay? And as no, you're pressing down, you're going to be great pulling job. that out. Yeah, exactly. Oops. Okay, get back in there. Okay, so meanwhile, you've Jay, got it. Okay. if you could mix these three together, we've got some uh, ground thyme, some, some thyme white here? pepper. Uh, one of the, the common Cajun spices is white pepper. So mix them all together and mix and the rub in there. And this is the rub, okay. Yep, mix the, put so them all, all, all three in together, one. all into one. Yeah, and then uh, stir it around with your finger, and then we're gonna coat that all over this our chicken. This whole thing goes in here? Yeah, all of it okay. in there. Yep, and then mix it up. Okay. And Jamming so we've injected. Oop, there we go. Well, sort of. <laughs> I think you maybe doing, so? you're better at this than I am. Now, when you, inject, maybe. when you inject chicken, you can put this in your fridge for a few hours, and it Very allows well. it to get nice and evenly distributed throughout your, your with your here, injection. Right here. In there. So All we right. have the, um, have the house rub. We've the got house that rub, one there. Okay. Oh, because oh, you're good. <laughs> okay. Now what we're going to do is sprinkle on, sprinkle on that Cajun spice. The thyme, the ground thyme is a key uh, Cajun good. seasoning that's on, and you coat that side. You don't be shy with that stuff. Don't be shy. It gives it a nice coating. Are you good with the Give barbecue? Lots of flavor. I'm okay. Chicken's not my forte. Well, I'm going to teach you all the now. lessons. Yeah. This you're at school. School is in session right now. So we've got our chicken with the injection on the outside and mm -hmm. nicely seasoned on the outside. Okay. And we're going to put this on our grill, generally indirectly. So one side is on, one right. side is off. And okay. you're going to cook it for uh, at low to low medium heat. And you're going to cook that until the internal temperature. And we were talking about this off camera. And Sophie, you've heard me talk about this before. Yes, very important. Thermometers. There's none of the, there's, no, there's no watch. There's none of this. Not I don't know, chicken. right? You All can't this take kind of stuff. You, you're looking it at it. And no. Look at it. Stop that. Okay. The juice is fly out, though, right? Come on. <laughs> you got to get a thermometer. Get a thermometer. It's a fork. If it's a probe type one like this, or I know. Uh, and and you're looking for uh, the, the sure, dark okay. meat, like your thighs and mm -hmm. your drumsticks. Mm -hmm. You're looking for 175 degrees. Te uh, Fahrenheit temperature. I okay. don't know the Celsius temperature. Cooking temperature, I know all in Fahrenheit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your breast meat, you mm -hmm. want to have at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And that's the only way that you're going to tell poultry is done. And so it, this is the key. That is the key. That, Get a thermometer, one, right? And that. So you're going to put these pieces on the grill, and, and you can flip them if you want to. Close the lid, and this will be like an oven as it cooks. Should we? So when you inject this, can you can you leave it? To, with the marinade for a while, or would you Most just certainly. put it right on the grill? No, you can let this sit for an hour or two or something, okay. and the, the, between the injection and the rub on the outside, mm -hmm. it'll be fantastic. Okay. And then well, this looks the great. These were not flipped, these were just. The, I rolled nicely. them over. I rolled them little, over uh, so we get some nice little crust on the outside, mm -hmm. but I did put some of our rock and red barbecue sauce on the outside just to balance out the flavor and to give, soften the skin on the outside. I was going to say, this is a nice thick uh, coating, coating on, on top, so you can tell it's going to be flavorful, but. 
that's uh, that's a bit of everything. That's the so sauce. So the, the sauce room. you want to put on about when it's about three quarters of the way done. So when your internal temperature is 145, 150, okay. somewhere in there, then you can glaze it and let it finish. Now I know you don't want us to use the timing. You want us to use the meat thermometer, but roughly. It takes roughly three or home. four days. Does that help you? Just buy one, Sophie. So, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> I'll loan you ten bucks. You're gonna plan you out the dinner making process. Listen, oh, that's a good point. And I want to explain why. Because you're gonna, I'm gonna say eight minutes, yeah. and somebody's gonna stand there with a, t a timer and go right. eight minutes, and it's gonna right. be so wrong. That's okay. Right? You don't have to be specific. I'm just planning out my my dinner making here. Oh, no, that's fair enough. To yeah. budget some planning. Okay. Yeah. Let's say thirty to forty-five okay. minutes. Okay. Thank Somewhere you. in that range. <laughs> All right. As a general rule. Get a thermometer. All right. That's the rule. I'll get a thermometer. Indirectly, rules rules for cooking chicken are lower the temperature so it's on lower temperature cooking indirectly mm -hmm. so one side's on your chickens mm -hmm. on the off side and using a thermometer to make sure everything is done okay right is it time so to eat? you guys these ones are nicely cooled off let me put those there I let here. them set on the side here and you've got some plates so if you'll grab those let me put there a spoon delicious here. by the way I'm gonna hold this one I'm gonna drop it if I don't I got a glass one and have yourself a piece of chicken a Cajun chicken and have an awesome weekend and before I forget Sophie yes uh, this Sophie. weekend in Nanaimo Look is the barbecue there. contest Thank you. So if you're in the Mid Island area, or if you're traveling through Nanaimo, most certainly stop by to the Nanaimo Barbecue Festival and uh, come see all the barbecue guys doing their best at, at uh, <laughs> shaking a stick at barbecue. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Delicious, House Brian. Houseofq.com. Houseofq.com. The recipes on the website. For the recipes. Excellent. All right. We have barbecue That's very, day. Very good. Delicious. We'll Thanks, you guys. And have your top stories right after this. Stay with us. Cajun chicken on the menu this morning.